Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another pop culture edition of Awesome Collection videos. Uh, today we're going to look at some comics by Dale Comics, 1960s, Beverly Hillbillies. Beverly Hillbillies was the number one show back in the 60s for a couple of seasons. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, comics. Uh, Beverly Hillbillies was on for nine seasons. Yeah, that's a lot. From 62 to 1971. And the, for the first two years, it was the number one show on television. Now we've got, we're going to look at all. Something interesting I want to point out before we get to it. Uh, this is the first issue. 12 Center by Dell. And when they finished up, which I believe is number 19, uh, they reused that same cover. But you can see the difference there. It was, comics had gone up to 15 cents by then, by the late 1960s, early 70s. So we're going to take a look at what we've got here. I only wish they had a regular numbering system that was clear on the cover, but they don't do that. So I'm going to rely on <coughs> what's written on here. When I got these at the Comic-Con, different years here, they're saying that one's 1963. Uh, if you've never seen the show, it's a fun show. Buddy Epson, a fun actor. And he also did a long-running show throughout the 1970s to 1980 with Barnaby Jones. Wacky mixed-up clampets. Uh, if you take a look at the covers here, there's their famous truck. So they were living in Tennessee, found oil, and moved out to Beverly Hills. Rank her up, Jethro. Let's show our new neighbors to live elegant is the name of the stars. And as you see, most of these are going to be uh, photo covers of the cast. There's one or two that has uh, a little bit different. We'll see that in a while. There's that old truck that they were driving around. There we go. Ellie Mae always had her critters or different animals. Oh, e Granny, how in tarnation do we get in this mess? Irene Ryan. And then the two uh, characters we're probably not going to see was the banker, Mr. Drysdale, and Miss Jane, his secretary. They were on, usually on every episode, one or both of them, part of the comedy. Who's high class? The Clampets. See the date there? This has been a Filmways TV presentation. Filmways TV Productions, 1963. You can see a lot of these were uh, poor condition. I just wanted to get a, an issue on what they had. I didn't spend uh, top dollar to get very mint ones. And a lot of times you can even find them at, uh, and that was at the big convention, because uh, TV comics, not every dealer has them, and then there was only spotty of, you know, this show or that show or the movie on Dell Comics. Is that over? Number six. I think this was the first one I got. Unless Clampets go a treasure hunt and just look out. 1964. And then, of course, there were several, uh, not spin-off directly, but uh, related shows like Pennycoat Junction and uh, Green Acres. This was kind of a nice cover. They're all dressed up there. And they're fancy duds. They had a lot of merchandise. I don't know if I still have it. I, I had the, the board game for this. And I also have a, a big TV guide, vintage TV guide collection. And if memory serves me, they were on eight or nine covers of the regular TV guide. And then there's a lot of regional TV guides with, uh, they were usually larger magazine size or smaller. And uh, they were on some of them. A lot of times they like to, Feature Ellie Mae, too. 
most attractive blonde actress of her time. She was in an Elvis movie. I think it was the one called Frankie and Johnny. Yeah, this was the different one. Look at this. Instead of uh, the photo covers, it's just got an artwork cover. You come back here with our granny, you can who overgrown tin can. Number 10. Ads. This one was kind of a nice cover with, with Jed. I don't know which one is the, the, in decent shape. These get uh, worn and browned. 1965. And Jed buys a worthless diamond mine in the heart of the jungle. Even his best friends think he's off his rocker. That's the bloodhound pet Duke. He was funny, he was always tired and sleepy. We had a lot of uh, neat guest stars showed up during the nine seasons. And that was back when they made a ton of episodes. I think in the early seasons, they made like 30 episodes each. And then the later ones, they cut down to about 26 or maybe 24 by the very end. A quintessential 60s show, but it did make it into the early 1970s. In fact, this was on CBS, and when this was ending in 1971 on CBS, another future, soon to be future number one show, All in the Family, was coming on. So just for a couple of months, the tail end of this and the beginning of All in the Family were on at the same time. Quite a bit different in shows. And uh, both funny in different ways, you know, with classic characters. Number 14. When the Clampets buy a summer camp, will the woods ever be the same again? What does that say there? 1966. So they cranked out a lot earlier on. Oh, this one's supposed to be 17. The mountain shake, rattle, and roll when Grady learns to ski. 1967. They had a fun one where they were, they are always wanting to move back, and the banker Drysdale's always trying to do something to convince them to stay, keep his money in his bank. And Granny's missing home, so they have a winter storm and stuff. That was a, a funny one. And they have an Indian attack on one. And at the very end, they had John Wayne, who was a huge star in the for decades, but especially in the 1960s, had a cameo walk on. She goes, where was you when I needed you, John? 12 Center, number 18. Does that have a date? 67. Jed's got $40 million where Granny's got the cents. I think when they started the show, they were saying uh, they started out with $25 million because from time to time they'd reference how much money. By the end of their show, they had uh, about $80 million through investment and so forth and what they're bringing up. And this is that 15 center. But they still have the copyright 63 on there, even though I think, I believe this one is from 1969 or maybe even 70, they had that. So they're still in whatever bag and tags that uh, they were in when they got them at the conventions over the years. Shopping around, looking through the bins. Shop, shop, shop. <laughs> All right. Beverly Hillbillies, a look at Dell, and look at how many there were. Most people probably wouldn't think they made that many of them, but they made quite a few. Very popular show. Till next time, more awesome collection, pop culture edition. Thanks for watching, everyone.